What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today Mojang has released the first experimental snapshot for Minecraft 1.19 which includes the Deep Dark and Ancient Cities and also the Warden. Now of course we've seen some pictures and also a little sneak peek of the Warden in the past but I gotta say playing with the Warden in game is pretty terrifying. Let's just watch this clip and then we'll talk about all of the new features in this snapshot afterwards. So there we have it, the Warden is terrifying and it moves super fast, way faster than I expected when I first downloaded this. Uh, I really thought it would just kind of move at the same pace as the Iron Golem, but it will charge you and it will charge you very, very fast. Now right here, I'm, I have the night vision potion on so I can just kind of explore this area. Uh, of course, there's these different skulk areas of the ancient cities which are very interesting. What I really like about this ancient city, it was also a dripstone biome. So I'm getting a lot of the dripstone around here which I think looks really really cool. So with the new ancient cities and also the warden, we actually have some new blocks of course and also a new enchantment as well. The new blocks are of course the Skulk, Skulk Veins, the Skulk Catalyst, and the Skulk Shrieker, all of which we've seen before they showed us uh, those blocks at the last Minecraft Live event, and we kind of knew that those were the Skulk blocks that would be coming. We also got some of those blocks in uh, the beta versions that we were getting, uh, so we really knew that those blocks were coming, and we also kind of know what those blocks do. But we actually have another block that we didn't know would be coming, but we kind of had an idea of what it was. We'd seen it before in the pictures of the ancient cities, and that block is Reinforced Deep Slate. So currently it cannot be obtained in survival. I assume this will change by the time the update comes out, but we don't really know what its crafting recipe or what its exact use is going to be until we get that release. Another thing to note is that this is very early development of 1.19. We're still going to see a lot of changes both to the Warden and also to the Ancient Cities. One of the known issues that they've discussed right now is that the Ancient Cities actually extend far beyond the Deep Dark Biome, which is something they want to try to contain later on. There is also a brand new enchantment coming to the game and you're going to be able to find the enchantment book for it in the ancient cities. It's going to be guarded by all the skull growth, things like that, where the warden is going to spawn. So you're definitely going to have to be very sneaky when trying to get it out of the chest. But once you get the enchantment, it's going to make life a whole lot easier when you're in the ancient cities because the enchantment is swift sneak. Swift sneak basically allows you to move much faster while you're sneaking and you're going to be able to move at the same pace as when you walk while you're sneaking. This of course is going to be super useful when you're touring around the ancient cities and trying to avoid the warden and all these skulk blocks because you don't want to spawn in a warden every time you open up a chest. Having this sneak ability allows you to move very quickly through these ancient cities. And another important thing to note is in these ancient cities a lot of the pathways are also lined with wool. So you shouldn't have a problem when you're just in the ancient city itself but it's going to be when you're trying to access all the chests is when you're going to have the most trouble uh, getting away from the warden. And as I've kind of demonstrated uh, a little in this clip, it's wardens can actually spawn with multiple of them. So you can end up having two or three wardens around you and you're really going to want to be careful of that because if one of them finds you, it's pretty much over. In the first clip I showed, I was wearing full netherite armor, although it wasn't enchanted, but I got two hit by a warden, so it really shows how powerful this mob is. 
the warden will also get angrier the more vibrations it hears and the angrier it gets it will soon pass its limit and it will charge you this is super scary this thing moves super fast so you're definitely going to want to try to avoid that the warden does not have any drops as we kind of expected all the loot that we're going to get from the ancient cities is going to be in the chest so there's really no incentive to even fight the warden you really just want to get the chest and get out of there you don't want to have to deal with the warden at all it even will notice projectiles and where they come from and will even charge the shooter if you start shooting too much at the warden uh, another thing is that after 60 seconds, if you haven't made any vibrations and it doesn't smell you, it will go back and despawn into the ground so you don't have to deal with it. Also, if a warden is to hit your shield with its fist, it will disable the shield as well, making it useless. So we've talked a lot about the deep dark, the ancient cities, and the warden at this point. Now let's actually talk about these skulk blocks because we've seen some information for them in the past, but now we have a lot of updated information on how they're actually going to work in game. All of them are going to require silk touch to pick up and the most efficient uh, tool to actually pick up any of these skulk blocks is going to be the hoe. The two most important of these Skulk blocks are going to be the Skulk Shrieker block and the Skulk Catalyst block. The Skulk Catalyst block is going to be the block that when mobs die within 8 blocks of it, it absorbs their XP and then it will also expand the Skulk growth around it. The sort of bony looking Skulk block directly in front of me here is the Skulk Shrieker block. This is the block that's going to send out a warning call to the warden as soon as vibrations hit it. It may take a little bit for it to actually summon the warden or it may not and the warden will just be summoned immediately. Uh, you really just want to avoid any vibrations around this thing but even when you're sneaking on top of any Skulk blocks it's going to de detect the vibrations of that. So sneaking is of course still important, you want to do it on all the deep slate blocks, everything else that's around here, but if you're on top of skulk blocks, you want to make sure that you just get off of that so you stop sending out vibrations to the wardens near you. Overall, there is a lot to take in with just this experimental snapshot, and this is only one small part of the wild update that is to come. We're going to get a lot more features in the near future, things that uh, we've seen at the last Minecraft Live event, like the uh, updates to the Birch Forest, also the new Mangrove Biome, things like that are coming in the near future. But we finally do have an in-game look at the Deep Dark, the Warden, the Ancient Cities, and all of that, which I think is incredible. All of this is definitely very new, very terrifying, especially the Warden. You do not want to deal with the Warden. It too shot me with netherite armor, uh, so it's definitely going to be a force to reckon with, and you're going to want to just avoid it at all costs. Now, it does look like you can tour around much of the Ancient Cities without alerting the Warden, as I did, uh, but... Once you try to go and find the chest to get the new enchantment book or any of the other loot that's in it, like the uh, potions of health, you're going to have some problems with the warden. All in all, I am very excited for some future snapshots, but this one is definitely going to be very fun to experiment with, especially with all the new features of the skulk blocks. That is all that we have for you guys today though. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. We'll be covering all the snapshots of 1.19 as they come out, all the new features of the Warden, the Ancient Cities, the Wild Update in general, and we also cover pretty much everything else Minecraft. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.